Hello everyone. Today I'm going to share our work about batch job collocation on Kubernetes.、Uh, our topic is coordinate workload collocation, queues oriented scheduling enhancement on Kubernetes.、Um, this project this project has already been、uh, open sourced on GitHub.、Uh, first, let me introduce ourselves.、Um, my name is Zhang Zuwei and Uh, me and my colleague Li Tao have both worked in Alibaba Cloud, and besides, we are also the maintainer of the、uh, open source project mean called Coordinator. It is our it is the project we are going to share today. And、uh, first, I will introduce the I will introduce the、uh, first three part of the. Uh, slide and、uh, my colleague will introduce the next、uh, following parts.、Uh, speaking of the collocation, let's go to the background first. For the past few years,、uh, new techs are developing really fast, such as、uh, AI, big data, 5G, and this makes the digital economy becoming more and more static. People can spend more and more time online for、uh, both for living and for working. And、uh, according to a recent report, the collocation data center market revenue will be tripled on、uh, 2028, comparing with last year. And at the same time, the energy consumption becomes becomes more serious. Some researchers say that in 2020, the data center industry consumed around 196 to 400 terawatt hours. It is quite a lot. So, improved resource efficiency is really important, which can save the TCO hardware cost and the maintenance. It can also reduce the carbon emissions. But a lot of、um, data centers utilization are pretty low, which means that the resources are wasting. So we need to improve the resource efficiency of data centers. Actually, the applications in data centers can be split into two kinds. First is、uh, online services. The other is batch jobs. For online service workloads. Most of them have strict SLA about performance. For example, the 99 percentile response time, and which means that、um, they require really high quality resource. And if we take a detailed、um, look at the resource usage of them, we can see that the average resource utilization is quite low, and the、uh, resource usage. Always fluctuates over time.、Uh, this makes the resource allocation of data center quite embarrassed because the node resource always with a high request but low usage rate. And the other one, the the batch jobs are most computation intensive for high throughput, and they don't need quite、uh, high resource quality. Because most of them, most of them are just big data or AI training computing.、Uh, with the rapid de development of, of these years, they、uh, require large scale of resources. And according to a report last year, 77 percent of respondents are embarrassing Kubernetes because they want to improve the resource utilization by. Uh, moving big data jobs to Kubernetes. So here comes a good idea that maybe we can put the online services and batch jobs on same Kubernetes cluster or even on the same node to improve the cluster utilization. But there are some challenges、uh, in Kubernetes. First, take a look at the resource model. Um, actually, the resource requirements of pod can be expressed as、uh, requests and limits.、Uh, re、the request resource means the、uh, container can guarantee to get 
and the limits determines the uh, resource usage never goes about the, the, the threshold. And the different value of requests and limits determines the queues or pods. They are guaranteed uh, burstable and best efforts. So we might um, consider that how about we set the online services as guaranteed or burstable so that it, it can get a, a high quality resource and we can set the best jobs as uh, best effort or uh, burstable to improve the cluster utilization. Uh, however, if we, we really do this, we will find that uh, no one is really happy for this collocation because uh, the online services always got interference because of the resource contention and the uh, batch jobs always have a bad performance because there is no reference for the node capacity of best effort and uh, besides there are no fairness between the the, the, the best effort pause. Actually, there is a classic word can conclude this problem called uh, noisy neighbors. So why noisy neighbor happens? There are some, uh, there are a lot of reasons. First, uh, most of the resources are sharing on node by different containers. Not only the CPU memory, but also the uh, CPU cache network, block IO, and so on. And but the, the the there are only C Kubernetes isolation on CPU and the memory for Kubernetes container. Uh, besides, the hardware topology is more and more complex. Mm, it is there are more than NUMA, but also the CPU cache and memory bandwidth, and even. Um, hyper spread of CPU and this, uh, the collocation makes things even worse because most batch jobs are really resource hungry and the simple resource rest restriction for best effort is really not enough. Uh, so we need an end-to-end -end automatic solution. If the load, for example, if the load of node goes high, it can uh, automatic they limit the resource consumption of best effort jobs on node and on the control plane it can uh, schedule less best effort pod to avoid more interference happen on node and if the load of node goes low the restriction of best effort jobs can be unleashed uh, automatically to improve the utilization and also the, the control plane should uh, allow more pods to be scheduled on the uh, node so that uh, everyone is happy. I mean. uh, next, let's take a look at the, the uh, design and, and the architecture of the coordinator. There are some key features in coordinator. First, it uh, designed it, it designed uh, the priority and the queues for batch collocation scenario and it also provides application profiling maximum for resource over commitment. On the node level, it coordinator provides a fine grade resource organization and isolation mechanism to avoid uh, noisy neighbor problem and it also provide flexible job scheduling mechanism for diverse workloads so that workload can be uh, easily used. Um, the purpose of the coordinator is to achieve high resource utilization with safety queues guarantees. The architecture of coordinator can be split into two parts. First, of course, is the control plane. Um, there are three parts of the control plane that Coordinator works on. First, um, it provides an independent component called Code Manager. There are three models inside. And the first is um, SL Controller, 
it is responsible for both for resource resale and queue strategy management. And also, there is a, a com model called uh, Recommender. It is used for resource profiling and auto scaling. And Code Manager also has a web hook called Collocation Profile. It is used for, for uh, code properties in auto injections by self defined rules. For example, we can set the uh, batch jobs as low priority to avoid the uh, interference on node. Besides, Cognit also provides some plugins inside uh, Kubi Scheduler and Descheduler to uh, improve the, uh, the, the, the performance of uh, batch jobs and also for um, online services. And on the uh, node level, there are two important components. First is the code runtime proxy. It acts as a, a proxy between the kubelet and runtime. It will receive the, during its, its life cycle, it receives the requests, requests from Kubernetes and call the uh, external plugins to inject more fine-grained resource parameters in, in C group or uh, resource control and so on. And the codelet is the most important part on the node level. It uh, collects the metrics for resource profiling and the interference detection. And also it uh, tunes the, tunes the um, resource parameters of container for uh, queues enhancement. And also it provides some external plugins for um, called runtime proxy in order to achieve the resource isolation. There are two key designs in Coordinator. The first is resource priority. Uh, the Coordinator provides resource oversee strategy. It means that uh, the requested but not used resource can be resold on lower level so that the uh, node provide can provide several levels of resources as uh, product, meet, batch, and free, and they are expressed as the extended resource on node status. And the more aggressive of the overseer strategy, of course, the more resources can be overcommitted, but the quality will be worse. Uh, we can take the, uh, we can look the graph as an example. The red line is the uh, uses of product level, and the dark green part is the capacity of batch resources and the light green part is the um, capacity of mid-level. We can see that although the mid-level ha has uh, better stability, but its capacity is quite low comparing with the batch level. And the batch level has, ha has, has more resources, but uh, it is not very stable. If the pod want to specify the uh, res resource priority, it just need to uh, fill the Kubernetes priority class uh, field uh, as product meet batch or free. It means that it want to request the the um, priority of resource, and we also provide the sub priority on pod for queue and the preparation during scheduling. And since the resource is overcommitted, pods with lower le lower level uh, will be throttled or killed when resource completion happened on node. The other key design is queues. Um, it is uh, an extended definition on pod level as system latency sensitive and best effort. And latency sensitive can be divided into uh, more detailed queues according to the performance requirements of our applications. Uh, the difference queues uh, means the different resource isolation parameters on containers. And when resource competition happened on node, pod with higher queues will be sacrificed first. 
And speaking of the queues and priority, there are two independent properties and can be mixed used. And of course, some of course some combinations are limited due to the actual scenarios. For the most uh, the most representative scenarios are product plus batch, uh, plus RS and batch plus best efforts. Uh, they are for the online services applications and for batch jobs. And since there are more and more types of, of applications, we also provide some enhancements such as uh, the product plus RIC or SR for those more sensitive service applications and also the meet plus best efforts for those who need more stab stable oversold resources such as the um, AI training jobs because they need the stable they, they need the resource to be more stable. Okay next uh, please welcome my colleague Li Feng to introduce some uh, technical details about the uh, coordinator. Hello everyone, I am Li Tao. Next, I will share with you how to use coordinators, collocation capabilities, as well as some technical details inside the coordinator. Coordinator can flexible use collocation to support uh, multiple workloads. Here we take Spark as an example to introduce how to use how to run Spark on Kubernetes with coordinator. First, uh, let's briefly introduce how Spark runs on Kubernetes. Many users currently use the Spark on Kubernetes operator to manage Spark applications. The Spark operator defines a CRD named Spark application that describes the Spark application specific specification. Uh, Spark operator manages the lifecycle of Spark application on a Kubernetes cluster. Uh, the Spark operator provides a command line to name the Spark console for working with the operator. The Spark op op applications have two types of pods, driver pod and executor pod. Spark application first creates driver pod, and, the, the, and then driver pod creates a batch of uh, of executor pods. The executor pod completes the task. Uh, we deploy uh, Spark application and uh, other latency sensitive applications on the same uh, batch of nodes. Uh, the latency sensitive applications use Kubernetes native resources, and the Spark applications use coordinator batch resources. It can improve the resource utilization of the cluster and reduce the cost. The YAML on the left describes a standard Spark driver pod. When the Spark driver pod is created, it will be updated by the collocation profile webhook of the coordinator uh, component, and the coordinator queues class will be added to indicate the driver pod is a best effort uh, pod, and the resource type will be modified from the Kubernetes native CPU and memory to uh, coordinator by CPU and by memory. It will eventually be scheduled by called scheduler on the far right is the change in the utilization before and after using the coordinator. Uh, the utilization increases after the coordinator is used. Okay, next I will start with you the some 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 technic technical details inside in inside the coordinator. How the coordinator overcommit resources and how to ensure the runtime quality of the pod. When users use Kubernetes, it's difficult to accurately uh, evaluate the resource units of applications and they don't know how to better set the request and the limit of pods. Therefore, in order to ensure the stability of the applications, larger resource specifications are often set. In actual production environment, the actual CPU utilization of most latency sensitive applications is, re is re 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 uh, re relatively low most of the time. And uh, maybe as high as 10 or 20 percent, which with waste uh, a lot of allocated but unused resources. Coordinator reuses this part of the allocated but unused resources through the 
uh, results over commitment mechanism. Coordinator uh, evaluates the how many resources of the pod of the pod can be uh, reclaimed according to the matrix. As shown in the finger, the part marked reclaimed is the re reclaimable resource. Uh, which, uh, which can be oversold. And uh, these uh, reclaimed resources can be allocated to uh, low priority workloads, such as batch jobs and uh, tasks. In order for uh, these uh, low priority workloads to easily use these resources, coordinator will update these resources, resources to node status as soon as you know the info right. Or when a pod has burst of requests to process, it requires small resources. Coordinator helps the pod to get uh, uh, these resources back through the queues uh, enhancement mechanisms to ensure the slice uh, quality. We, cons we considered at the beginning of the open source of the coordinator that is, it's necessary to reduce the difficulty so that uh, the everyone can gain benefits by simply uh, and uh, quickly using the coordinator. So coordinator provides a CRD named class the collocation profile and uh, co co corresponding webhook. The CRD describes the which name spaces and the pods need to enable collocation. The webhook will automatically uh, inject the coordinator priority calls the class um, by the resources and other the collocation protocols into newly created pods according to the rules describes, described in the CRD. Over committed resources can effectively improve the utilization of the cluster, but it's also accompanied by uneven utilization among the among nodes in the cluster. And the hot the hot, hot uh, and the load hot spots may also appear. Load hot hot spots can degrade workload performance. The latest instance of applications and the best workloads conflict more on the on nodes with, with high utilization, which affects the runtime quality. To op optimize uh, this problem, coordinator scheduler provides a plugin to control the utilization. The plugin mainly depend depends on the node being matrix reported by coordinator. During scheduling, nodes with a load higher than a certain throughhold will be filtered out to prevent the pods from the, from being unable to obtain resources on such nodes with high load. On the uh, on the other hand, on the other hand, uh, it also it can also prevent the nodes with already high load from continue uh, deteriorate uh, nodes uh, deteriorate. Uh, the nodes with low, lower utilization can, can select uh, during the score, scoring phase. The plugin, to, will, will avoid, will, uh, the plugin will avoid the overheating called the node after a period of time uh, due to concurrent scheduling of too many pods to the code nodes based on the time window and the uh, estimation mechanism. Uh, when the utilization increases to a re re relatively high water level, the resource conflict between latency sensitive applications and uh, best effort workloads will be more serious. And the more refined resource management is required to better guarantee the runtime quality. So as to further explore utilization potential, at the beginning of the design coordinator, we, design, we designed the QS class for collocation uh, scenarios based on the Kubernetes native QS class and uh, restricted the way uh, its QS class uses uh, the CPU. LSE and LSR represent latency sensitive applications with high performance requirements which use CPU set mode. The CPU allocated by LSE will be uh, will not be set by uh, workloads uh, of other classes. Uh, the CPU allocated by RSR can be set by best effort queues class, but can be set by uh, uh, other than by other than queues class. RS adopts uh, CPU cell model, uh, cell a group of common latency sensitive. Uh, uh, a group of common batches of the same CPU. 
similar to LSR, uh, these CPUs can be can also be uh, served by best effort uh, queues class. Uh, best effort uh, use, uses all CPUs except these uh, those allocated by RSE. Uh, coordinator uh, scheduler and the coordinator cooperation support the model uh, and uh, provides uh, rates bounding strategies uh, and uh, solution strategies. Also com compatible with uh, the, CP the accumulator CPU management uh, places. In order to ensure the runtime quality of various uh, workloads in co offices scenarios, uh, coordinator provides rates queues enhancement uh, capabilities on the node side. Uh, because the time is limited, I sell a few re representative capabilities. First, introduce the CPU surprise. As mentioned before, the applications often have allocated but unused resources. These resources can not only be used by newly created best ever pods through the overcommit commitment uh, mechanism, but also can serve the idle CPU resources to best ever pods that are already running on as much as possible. I assume in the finger, uh, when coordinator finds that the resource utilization of the uh, latest system applications is low according to the matrix and the CPU used by the best effort pods has not exceeded the safety throughhold. Then the idle CPU within safety throughhold, throughhold can be served with the best effort pods so that the best effort pods can execute faster. Therefore, the load of the latest system applications uh, increases the coordinator uh, will not will return the CPU set to the best effort of best pods uh, to the latest system of applications. Although uh, CPU surprise uh, can help best effort pods get more resources for faster execution, uh, there are also some disadvantages. When iOS, when the when the uh, when the latest system of applications are on the high load, best effort uh, uh, pods may not uh, uh, get uh, resources. Best uh, effort pods hold special resources such as kernel locks when they are surprised uh, may need to uh, priority uh, inversion and affect the performance of LS pods. In order to solve the problem of CPU surprise, the coordinator provide uh, uh, provides an evaluation mechanism based on resource satisfaction, uh, which helps the best effort uh, workloads get the opportunity to reschedule and uh, dis distribute them uh, to nodes uh, with low load. CPU satisfaction uh, is the ratio to of the total amount of CPU actually allocated to the total amount of CPU expected to the to be allocated. Once the CPU satisfaction of best effort workloads is lower than the throughhold and the CPU utilization of best effort workloads ex exceeds exceeds 19%, uh, coordinator will evict some low priority uh, best effort uh, uh, pods and release some resources for use uh, by higher priority uh, best effort uh, pods. Through this mechanism, this, uh, the resource requirements of uh, best effort uh, uh, workloads can be uh, improved. Coordinator provides a variety of adaptive kernel level queues management mechanisms. Uh, like uh, such as Sakai's CPU burst allows CPUs rotated, uh, rotated uh, containers to burst their CPU utilization for higher performance and low, lower latency. This filter can ensure the quality of containers without reducing the deployment density of uh, containers. Can code coordinator adaptive with analyze uh, OS and the community version of the uh, Linux kernel. Because of time constraints, I will not give a detail, detailed uh, explanation. If you are in, interested, you can go to our official website for more information. Also, 
a uh, code scheduler provides a uh, variety of scheduling features such as uh, enhanced uh, code scheduling. Uh, it can it's a uh, uh, competes with uh, uh, code scheduling and uh, pod group or CRD. Uh, and uh, support uh, supports uh, multiple pod group to complete uh, gun scheduling as group. Uh, elastic quota scheduling uh, com compatible with uh, with capacity scheduling and uh, elastic uh, quota CRD. It is supposed to ensure finite fairness according to the shared weight and uh, multi level stress structure. Uh, it can it allows users. Uh, to set whether to allow borrowing quota uh, to other consumers cons objects. And the uh, code, code scheduler implements GPU style scheduling uh, because of time uh, constraints. I, I, I don't uh, give more details. Uh, okay. Uh, coordinator has released uh, seven. Uh, versus impl implementing most of the capabilities required for colloquial scenarios, uh, including resource overcommitment, uh, CPU surprise, fine grained CPU management, uh, disk, uh, disk scheduling, and uh, elastic quota scheduling, uh, and all. Uh, we have pro 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 provided a lot of documents of the official website and GitHub providing higher charts and the best practices. If you are interested, you can uh, try your coordinator. Uh, you are warmly welcome to hack our coordinator. Welcome to report issues, improve documents, documentation, fix bugs, or add uh, features. We encourage all contributors to become members. Uh, we aim to uh, grow, grow, uh, grow an active, healthy community of contributors, reviewers, and uh, code owners. Uh, thanks for watching our star on Coordinator. Uh, thanks, everyone. Uh, bye.